Raymond Sums. This section shows how to use sigma or summation notation to represent a sum. Consider the numbers given by A1, A2, through An. The ith number is given by A sub i. Summation notation provides a compact way to write sums such as A1 plus A2 all the way through An. The summation notation involves the summation sign, the variable which is being summed, the summation index, the lower limit of summation, and the upper limit of summation. The notation, the summation as i goes from 1 to n of a sub i, means to sum all of the terms beginning with a sub 1 and ending with a sub n. The variable i is called a dummy variable because the variable used is arbitrary. Here are two properties of sigma notation. The summation of a sub i plus b sub i equals the summation of a sub i plus the summation of b sub i. The summation of k times a sub i, where k is a constant, equals k times the summation of a sub i. Raymond sums. In this section we use sigma notation to define Raymond sums. Suppose that we have a partition of the interval a, b containing the points x sub 1, x sub 2, up through x sub n. Also, suppose that we have a sample point x sub i star within each subinterval x sub i minus 1, x sub i. The Raymond sum is defined to be s sub n, which equals the summation as i goes from 1 to n, of f of x sub i star times delta x, where delta x equals x sub i minus x sub i minus 1. The Raymond sum may be interpreted as the areas of the rectangles that lie above the x-axis and the negatives of the areas of the rectangles that are situated below the x-axis. If the left endpoints of each subinterval are used as sample points, then we have a left Raymond sum denoted by L sub n. If the right endpoints of each subinterval are used as sample points, then we have a right Raymond sum denoted by R sub n. And if the midpoints of each subinterval are used as sample points, then we have a middle Raymond sum denoted by M sub n. Raymond sums may be positive, negative, or zero. Example, find the left, right, and middle Raymond sums using n equals 5, where f of x equals the square root of x minus 2, where x is between 1 and 6 inclusive. Solution. The partition of the interval 1, 6 contains the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We find 
that L4 equals negative 1 plus the square root of 2 minus 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2 plus the square root of 4 minus 2 plus the square root of 5 minus 2 which is approximately negative 1.62. R4 equals the square root of 2 minus 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2 plus the square root of 4 minus 2 plus the square root of 5 minus 2 plus the square root of 6 minus 2 which is approximately negative 0.17. M4 equals the square root of 1.5 minus 2 plus the square root of 2.5 minus 2 plus the square root of 3.5 minus 2 plus the square root of 4.5 minus 2 plus the square root of 5.5 minus 2 which is approximately negative 0.86.